Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended family. I love the fact that you can be a part of my puzzle. You know, being a teacher as well as a student is truly a blessing because we learn new stuff along the way, you know, from things that come upon our lives that falls in our lap and you know um it's from other people as well and that truly is a blessing for us to be able to be a part of each and everybody's you know circle to be able to bring love and light so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when i'm about to upload my next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two i would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to me even if it's about the positive feedback of the content or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction also, uh, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or um, gave you some good vibes you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath that are going through some really dark times right now and they need that help and guidance or even confirmation or validation towards their life's purpose or even their soul path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly appreciated. And thank you for being a part of my life as I am a part of yours. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, my um, meditation music, I always, like I told you, I love Buddha. Anytime I see Buddha, I don't care if I use the video like about two weeks ago, I'm going to use it again if it really, you know, resonates with me at that time. It's called 528 Hertz Tranquility Music for Self-Healing and mindful, Mindfulness, Love Yourself, Light uh light music for the soul and i'm gonna post that link in the description box below i don't know what it is but it makes this the last few meditations is having me feel like i'm like having this euphoric feeling that i'm like floating and everything is going to be okay and that's a beautiful feeling to go through um especially with all this other craziness going on around now um and my video i'm doing today um it's called twin flame 101 uh hey yo because it's crazy how we can feel things before uh we even know them never second guess your your gut feeling we do because there's a lot of times we have been in situations whether it's like friendships or uh relationships that certain things don't sit right you know it might you might be even when it comes to like people i've met there's some people that i'm still i still associate with and there's some of them you know i just backed away from or there's just some people that are just not out in my life but you know i used to be that type of person uh, that wish like oh you know these people really did me wrong you know even you know I, I, I had my fair share of doing certain things as well you know it was a learning experience but I used to feel stupid I said why do I feel so stupid for allowing these people to be in my life why couldn't I see it when it happened you know there's a lot of times you know going through spiritual awakenings like I tell people when you go through spiritual awakenings you have probably had a handful of friends a lot of them you should have been left alone a long time ago because us as empath, we always try to see the good in people. We do regardless because we feel like maybe we can help them change. Maybe we can help, you know, guide them a lot of, you know, these different ways. There's, I mean, you only can help so many people. A lot of them have to be able to do that inner work for themselves. Being able to see what you're projecting towards them. You know, like, hey, you know what? You're right. You know, maybe I do need to work on this. Sometimes that goes that right, that route, and sometimes it don't, you know. Um, but you should never feel stupid about the certain situations you go through. You have, you know, before your spiritual awakening, if you did not know what, if you were empath or not, but you know you had these gut feelings before. That, you know, there are certain times, you know, certain in, in, uh, situations I've been in where I can tell I'm not going to be friends with this person too long. You know, I'll get that gut feeling, but it's just like I really love them and we have a good time at times. But there's just certain things that they might do like control or, you know, um, or, you know, they're being jealous of you or, you know, just certain things that is going through the situations that, you know, your gut feeling is telling you sometimes, you know, um, like your gut feeling could tell you to stay away from certain people you know it's a blessing when you can be able to go through your spiritual awakening and you're learning that process like okay this person might not be right for me or you know i shouldn't allow this person to be in my life you know because at times 
we go through certain situations where we're not letting anybody in. And I, to me, it's just like, you know, whatever gravitates, gravitates. If something's telling me to leave you alone, I'm going to go ahead and do that. You know, there's a lot of people lately, I've been cutting them out my life because it's just like either, you know, I can see them in a the spiritual plane and they're being really crotchety. <laughs> and, you know, it is just certain things is not sitting right, you know, and I said, you know what, I can allow them to stay. I, I can say that sometimes I don't even say anything to them and just block them out my life where there's sometimes I have to tell them, you know, I don't know what's going on but you have been very offish towards me or being very crotchety or you know you're cutting your eyes at me in the spiritual world and that's just allowing me or you know or universe just telling me or showing me their name or their face and they're you know they'll show scissors and a cord and it's just like okay I'm not, you know you, you learn how to do those things because like I told you when we start our situation with the spiritual awakening, you might have a handful of friends. And then all of a sudden, friends start either turning their back on you. Um, and you don't really, you might see it that way, but it's God turning you around. You know, they're, they're letting you know, hey, these people weren't here for the right reasons. Or there were seasonal people. Because like I said before, other videos, we have a bad habit of putting life lifetime expectations for people in our life they're only supposed to be there for a season you learn everything you know there's times that you know I've gotten upset like I wish I never met this person I had to stop saying that because if I did not meet this person and had the problems and the issues that I did when would I ever know if this happened this comes up again and I'm starting to see those same you know those same you know uh, situations that I had with the other person it's showing me red flags it's like you know you dealt with this before and it allows me to cut people out of my life I, I you know I had to put boundaries up you know there's people I didn't want to you know cut out my life but if you didn't respect my situation as I respected yours respected your boundaries as I respected yours I gotta cut you out of my life and I already if I warned you twice about that you know like I said before my other video if I warned you twice about that the third time it's just gonna be me blocking you or me just not talking to you you know there's a lot of people like I you know I went on my Facebook and there's so many family and friends that I cut out my life because I'm seeing their intentions because now it's like your third eye is a gate you, your instincts is telling you hey you need to get these people out your life but my family um, seen my situation and they didn't believe the situations I have because it's like how can you be related to this person this person you know but the, you know there's some people in my, my family especially on my mom's side they didn't know I was adopted until my mom's death you know she was on her deathbed and they didn't even know that you know they thought my mom was just being very secretive and didn't want to tell nobody no this is just something I'm adopted you know and I told them I said shoot if my mom kept away from you that I was adopted what makes you think they didn't they kept this away from you too you know so it's just like when I didn't have that support you know and you feel like you should be able to turn the family because my immediate family my mother's my you know my adopted mom which is my mom you know that's the only person I know you know she passed my sister I love dearly she passed you know um, my best friends and stuff like that they, they passed so it's just like you know I really didn't have that immediate family um, to really fall back on or just you know I talked to them about it but it was like they start shying away from me either because they were jealous or they didn't want to believe all these things are happening but it's just like you know I wouldn't been going on this long about the same situation if I was lying you know, either, you know, you would tell somebody it, things would be slipped up or, you know, you would change your situation. It's like, you know what? She keeps changing everything, you know, that she said she went through. No, it's always been the same. But it's just the fact that I had to be able to cut those folks out of my life because it wasn't healthy for me. Or I felt like they were blocking my blessings because, you know, you, you have people in your life that you truly need to let go of because they're, they're cutting your blessings short. You know, they're not... You know, you're not able to have these things in your life because you deal with certain people. So it, it's just like never second guess, you know, what your mind's trying to tell you. Even though in your heart, you might not want to have these people out your life. But God, universe is allowing you to see that, especially if you pray upon, you know, allowing them to let you see the people that are against you talking behind your back is not really for you like you were for them. You know, never get mad. Like, you know, there's sometimes I even said, you know, if they're not going out their way to do that for you. You know, you do it anyway. You know, you should never stop changing who you are. Don't allow your situation to make you become bitter. You know, and I had to really tell myself that, you know, put my walls up. You know, it wasn't even, you know, put my walls up. But I felt like if there's 
let me see how I can explain that. If you know, if it's meant for me to be in their life, it'll be that way. But it's just like sometimes it was, you know, I kept on getting to the situation where it's, it's like always the same, some, the same situation when I cut people off. Is because you, you were number one, you were judging me, putting your insecurities on me, and I had to cut you out of my life. Or, you know, you're trying to tell me I need to have confidence in this and this and that, but you weren't able to take your own advice. So a lot of times as empaths do that, and I had to be able to walk my walk and talk my talk. Like, if I'm a project this to y'all saying, oh, you need to let this go, you need to let this go, I have to be that person that allow myself to let things go. There's no longer serving me in that positive light or that positive vibration. Being able to let people go. There's sometimes you get too old to be telling people what they're supposed to do, especially if you know people know I'm an empath. Now, if I end up cutting you out, you know the reason why I cut you out of my life. Because especially if I mentioned mentioned it too too many times, but I was blessed to be able to experience that situation because every relationship, whether it was good or bad, has taught me something. You know, you have to be able to look at certain things like that, even when it comes to toxic relationships. The toxic relationships is allowing you to get that self-worth, that self-love. Not to be able to attach yourself to somebody who, you know, is trying to have that control over you. You know, so nobody should tell you you should love them and then put you in a cage. That's not what love is supposed to be about. You know, they shouldn't be able to control, you know, or I love you if you do this. Or I love you if you do that. You know, don't put a hold on yourself. Don't allow yourself to not be happy around certain people because that bothers them. That That's their personal problem, not yours. You know, there's I know there's certain things you can't talk about. Like if it's something future for you because they, they can't prey on what they can't see. So there are certain things you have to keep towards yourself. But anytime you get that gut feeling about certain situations, see what that situation is trying to tell you. But while you at it, cut them folks out your life. Never second guess your gut feeling. That's the reason why you're in path for a reason. You know, but there's a lot of times we go through situations because we have to learn from them. Like if you have toxic relationships, this allows you to see the red flags if it comes towards you again. You know, like when it comes to narcissistic people, yes, they can be princess and prince charming towards you and all of a sudden when they start doing very charming things towards you you're like oh this is so beautiful they're this and they're that and especially if they're trying to move real fast on certain things and not allowing you to see you know see everything that's going on around them they're being very you know you, there sometimes there is the first thing you know love at first sight but there's also things when people are being start, kind of secretive you know, because there's like a lot of people that I would text and I'm like, oh, you want to do a video chat? They're like, ah, no, because they feel like, you know, if they know you're an empath as well as them, they're thinking, oh, you know, if I video chat this person, then they'll be able to see the, the things. No, if you really are an empath, well or not, if you talk to them face to face or they send you through the text, you can still get it. You can still get that energy that they're placing upon you like something has really shifted. <laughs> for you to know, oh, okay, something funny about these folks or whatever. So all these different things you're going through, you're going through for a reason. Never second guess your gut feelings, especially if they tell, you know, you go a certain way for work and they're telling you, no, I'll take a different route. There's a reason why they're doing that. You, you should never question the universe when they tell you to do certain things because that's when you mess up if you go against what they tell you. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of my video. I'm giving much love to Linda. Uh, with, uh, Linda? Uh, Fastening, I think that's the last name. I'm sorry if I mispronounced it. Uh, Ray Fisher, as well as Lisa Williams and Katie Strait. Much love to you as well. And I will see you on my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And know there is always someone out there praying for your better days. And send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored. And someone is always praying out for your better days. I think I said that twice again, but you know what? double it anyway <laughs> so i'll see you later much well like and subscribe hit that notification bell drop me a line i would love to get to hear your input on this and give me a thumbs up and share and i'll see you later much love peace be wild